day two on Typhoon Halong, which has rapidly intensified in the past few hours to achieve winds of 115 miles per hour and a pressure of 948 millibars. That's a Category 3 storm on the Sapphire Simpson Hurricane wind scale. Now its current position is 14.9 degrees north, 136.4 degrees east, as of 3 a.m. UTC on August the 2nd. Now storms are expected to continue towards the northwest, uh, possibly intensifying further. That could be a possibility, uh, maybe even reaching Category 4 intensity. That's not marked out on this map um, and gradual weakenings expected on approach to the Japanese islands in around four or five days time. Uh, the storm certainly likely to affect the southern Japan, um, certainly the Ryukyu Islands off the coast of su southern Japan, the mainland, uh, but it could affect the mainland itself as well. Uh, more on that in the computer models a little bit later on. No warnings in effect right now, but that could change in the coming days. Sea surface temperatures remain fairly warm, around 30 degrees or thereabouts, uh, likely to decrease slightly as it moves towards the northwest, but then increase again um, if it approaches Okinawa and the Amami Islands, where temperatures are again around 30 30 degrees Celsius, right up to the Japanese coast, favourable above 26 degrees C. Uh, wind shear, there's a high amount of wind shear just towards the northwest of the storm, a big band there of um, higher than 50 knots, which would certainly tear apart the storm, but as it is, uh, a little pocket of low amounts of shear at the moment. Here's the water vapour imagery with the typhoon, fairly unmistakable towards the centre there, very high amounts of um, moisture around, not going to be an issue. Checking out the computer models then, um, the CMC first of all predicts further intensification and then stalling the storm near Okinawa. Funny enough, the uh, one of the last storms that struck Japan had that outcome on the CMC model, so we'll take that with a pinch of salt with some other storms forming towards the central Pacific as well. The GFS has something fairly similar in terms of the area it affects, passing Okinawa and the Amami Islands and then moving on to the southern coast of mainland Japan. Um, and again, you see new storms, one or two new storms forming out at sea as well but nothing significant. Looking at the latest satellite imagery, this is rather telling because you can see how it's intensified in the past uh, just a matter of a few hours uh, from a Category 1 hurricane with uh, typhoon with 75 uh, knot winds, 85 miles per hour, up to 115 miles per hour Category 3 storm as it is now at 3 a.m. UTC. Uh, the eye has become much better defined and I think that will continue over the coming hours. Uh, certainly a well-defined eye wall, uh, very strong, particularly towards the northeast by the looks of things at the moment. Um, that's where the strongest part of the storm is and to the south as well that's where most of the spiral bands are contained too and towards the north a little bit less but still uh, significant amounts of um, thunderstorms coming out of the storm in all directions um, so quite lucky and fortunate that the, there are no islands around at the moment as of August 2nd at 3 a.m. UTC there are three storms active Izel, Bertha um, and Halong and four if you go by the Japanese Meteorological Agency who have designated Tropical Storm Nakri as that a tropical storm and uh, plenty of other invests around as well 91W which could become a, a small storm too possibly in the coming days. Uh, 2014 worldwide there have been 45 tropical storms that have formed. 18 of those became category 1 hurricanes or equivalent typhoons of course in the western pacific with winds of 74 miles per hour plus and uh, how long is the 11th to become a category 3 storm with winds of 115 miles per hour and higher. Uh, still a way to go yet this year, of course. You can visit 413 on any of its six outlets. The website is the main place to be for all the updates in between videos. 413.com is a place to be um, for all the updates for any storm out there. Uh, the video pages, of course, will also keep you up to date at regular intervals. YouTube and Daily Motion, just search 413 on there. And, of course, the social platforms too. Facebook and Twitter, just search 413 there as well. At 413 on Twitter. And you can speak to me personally on Skype. Just add full 13 on there for Tropical Weather Chat. You can also talk tropics with other storm trackers as well on Force 13's forum, which is relaunching on August the 4th uh, in two days' time. And you can visit that right now if you wish at force13.com forward slash forum. Next update on this storm will follow in around 18 hours' time at 9pm UTC on August the 2nd. But that's all for now. <laughs>